Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's video I want to talk about this new, um, well new to me, it's a PVC board and what, uh, if you were to look this up on uh, Home Depot, which is where I bought it, it's a PVC trim board. So this is a half inch by two feet by four feet and uh, the way that uh, I'm going to use it is, uh, and show you how to machine it, is that uh, my wife has a sewing machine that she wanted an outfeed kind of table for it uh, and something that wouldn't grab on the clothing and uh, but you could use this in any application in woodworking uh, where you're needing an outfeed table for your table saw or something like that the a couple of ways to machine this is you're going to use um, a jigsaw which i'm using with a um, this is a metal cutting blade so it has fine teeth on it uh, you don't get hardly any tear out with this, just go nice and slow. Uh, this one has an orbiting action uh, setting on it. Uh, you don't need to use that. You can put it on zero or one, whatever. Just don't make it orbit very much um, because uh, then it will try to chip out. Um, but you'll see once you use it how, how good this machines. Uh, I would use some blue tape either on the material or underneath the uh, the pad of your your whatever you're cutting with because it can scratch the top of it um, so the outer edges or the outside edges the outside and onto the bottom are nice and slick um, so what you would expect from a cutting board or something but the inside is kind of like a uh, PVC uh, hollow core I don't know it's, it's just uh, it's kind of like foam on the inside. It's very fine um, and you can sand it, which that's what we're gonna do to make it nice and smooth. Um, but anyway, just pick which side you wanna use and uh, go with that. They're, they look almost the same to me anyway. But uh, we're gonna use different sandpapers uh, and different tools to cut it. So I'm gonna cut my straight cuts with a track saw uh, circular saw whatever you can even use a table saw it doesn't really matter uh, it does tend to throw up a lot of uh, statically charged uh, particles uh, so be aware of that it's gonna get and stick to things is what I'm saying so anyway we're gonna cut once with a track saw to get the the outer edge cut and then for the uh, defined cut that I'm gonna use to go around the sewing base I'm gonna be using the jigsaw um, then we're going to go to the sandpaper. I'm going to be using a standard wood sand, what you'd use for wood or anything like that. Then I'm going to go with a wet sandpaper that you'd actually, you're going to keep wet while you sand it from anywhere from three, 320, 800 to 1500. And that gets it super smooth uh, and what you want so that things don't grab on it. But I'll show you how to cut that now. Uh, so let's get started.
Okay, after quite a bit of sanding, um, as you saw in the video, uh, it came out really nice. I think my wife's going to like this piece, and uh, hopefully that helped you uh, maybe make your own piece for whatever you might be doing with this PVC um, uh, wood. So anyway, uh, you can pick this up at Home Depot. Uh, that's where I bought mine. So again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, Leave them in the comments below, and as always, have a great day.